Labas, and welcome, welcome back, back to the Lithuanian, Lithuanian culture. culture. I am Emma. And I'm Daniel. And today we'll be taking a closer look at Lithuanian food in the Chicago Lithuanian community. Chicago has one of the biggest, largest Lithuanian communities outside of Lithuania. We got it all covered here from Šaltevraše to Sepeline here on Lithuanian culture. To fully understand Lithuanian food, we must understand its origin. Where did these foods come from and how did they become so popular in modern Lithuania? Lithuanian dishes include lots of um, potatoes and meat. Very popular dishes are tepelinai, kugelis, vedarei, and jamaichublinai. But Lithuanians also love their vegetables too. One of the most popular, gribai. This grows over all the forests in Lithuania and kids go out and have fun and they pick them and bring them home to their families for dinner. Another staple in Lithuanian uh, dishes is black rye bread. Uh, no matter where you go in Lithuania, you'll find that most houses serve it with their food. It is the most popular and the healthiest bread for Lithuanians. One of the most iconic Lithuanian dishes is Shantibarshe, which is basically a cold beet soup. Initially, I was introduced to this soup by my great grandmother, but I was terrified of it because of its bright pink color. Eventually, I gave it a try, and now, as long as I can remember, it has been my favorite soup. Shantibarshe is a Lithuanian twist on famous Eastern European dish, borge. Historians believe that the soup was forage soup and consumed by early Slavic tribes. It was prepared with pickled hogweed, which is found in the wild. Historians believe that word for hogweed in Proto-Slavic is borge, which is where the name came from. But now hogweed has been replaced with dill and Lithuanians replaced the soup uh, base with cold buttermilk. And now we're going to take you to the Lithuania Culture Cooking Show to show you how it's made. Labas and, and welcome, welcome to the Lithuanian, Lithuanian Culture Cooking Show! Today we're going to be preparing Šaltibarek shape. We're going to need some peeled potatoes, some cut up green onion, some dill, cucumbers, boiled eggs, salt, beetroot and kefir. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt for the cut of potatoes and bring it to a boil and bring water to a boil for the eggs. Now we're gonna be peeling some cucumbers. Now that the water has boiled, I'm going to put in my eggs. Now I'm going to cut up some tiny pieces of green onion. Now it's time to add some beets. First, we need to open the jar. Now we're gonna drain the beets. And 
and we're almost done. And the last step is to pour in some kefir into our mixture. And now we wait for the eggs to cool down. Now that all of our ingredients are ready, we're gonna mix the soup with all of the ingredients and it's gonna turn bright pink. Do you want to help me out, Dan? Pour some mm -hmm. soup. Take a big thing of soup. Oh, we forgot some salt. <laughs> we need to add a pinch of salt and also mix it in. And now we're going to add some egg and dough on top. And for a side dish, we're going to have some potatoes. And you can also sprinkle a little bit of dill on those too. And ta-da! Dinner is served! And there you have it! A nice, fast Lithuanian dinner for two. Very easy to make and very tasty. Very delicious. Now that Emma has explained to you her favorite food, I'd like to talk about mine. Ever since I was a child, in Lithuanian school, every Saturday, I would wait till lunchtime. I would look at the clock until it would strike 12, and then I would run downstairs with the $5 my mom gave me so that I could buy lunch. The thing I wanted the most? Sepelinai. There was nothing like it. When you came down, looked through that window, and saw those nice, fresh, round sepeline just made, nothing makes your mouth water more. I'm sure that I'm not the only one in this situation as it is the most popular Lithuanian dish by far for its iconic shape and it's the Lithuanian's national food. As delicious sepelene may seem, it's very hard to make. So we're gonna leave it to the people who know how to do it best. Now we're about to go to the old Vilnos cafe to see how it's done. Here we are at Old Vilnius Cafe in Darien, Illinois. And we're gonna go ask some questions about Sepeline and how they make it. Come on. As you can see, this restaurant also has a very big gift shop with many Lithuanian items available for sale. And it has a store in the back if you want to do some grocery shopping for Lithuanian culture foods. Here you can find a lot of Lithuanian items such as shirts, t-shirts, jackets, as well as other things that can be that are very interesting, such as witches and horseshoes, which are a very big part of Lithuanian culture. Oh, hi, Emma. Shirt out. Man, I need to get me one of those shirts. Right? Way too big for me. <laughs> Would it fit you? 
<laughs> One of my favorite foods. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on there. This shirt is so much more epic than you think. First, this shirt has all the ingredients that you need to make zeppelinas. First, you see potatoes, then you see pork, beef, some salt, pepper, and other things to make it taste very nice, and sour cream on the side. This is all the stuff you need to have your very own Zeppelinas party at home. Dance, dance to the Cafe with the server and Mrs. Yolanda, and we're gonna ask her a couple questions about how Cipollini are made. Do you know where Cipollini got their name from? How many Zeppelini do you make and sell in like one day? Oh, Actually, what do you think you want to do? I think I'm in the mood for some separate Good choice. Now, Cipollini are a very heavy food, so you really need to have something to, next to it to wash it down. Now, my favorite drink is Gira. And there are many flavors of Gira, from natural to um, ones you can buy at the store, which are more like soda. These include Doras Gira, Duonas Gira, a very popular one, and my personal favorite, Smetonishka Gira. This is the best drink and my favorite soda that I've ever had. They're all made from bread, from rye bread, and they all are pretty healthy with low amounts of sugar. They're the best thing to wash down a sip of lemon. Cheers. One of the most popular drinks in Lithuania is Švitura Olus, a Lithuanian beer that has been around since 1946. It is sold internationally and it's only gaining its popularity. Thanks for watching Lithuanian Culture. I'm your host, Emma. And I'm your host, Daniel. See, See you next week. Kaps piragus, balius greipus, šventė palės visus. Oi, kiek svečių, dėčių tėtų, ar tik iš teksų.
Nesėt nesent Ir po visų bėdų Oi, tik stikčių Dėčių tintų Ar tik užteks solų Sveikinsim ją 